We cannot overstate the importance of trees. Their debut more than 300 million years ago was fundamental for Earth's progress, helping transform its surface into a thriving utopia for life as we know it. Trees have fed, housed, and otherwise nurtured countless creatures over time, including our own ancestors. And let's face it, we cannot live without them. We're going to show you bottle-shaped trees, trees that can bleed, poisonous trees, and trees considered to be sacred. Do you like trees? Well, today we got them. Here are the 15 most unusual trees in the world. It comes off, it's this beautiful blue-green color. <laughs> Number 15. Bottle Trees of Namibia Check out this curvy beauty. The bottle trees of Namibia are a species of plant whose name is derived from the 19th century Portuguese geologist Fernando de Costa Leo, who described the bottle tree during an exploration in southern Angola. This species can be either a shrub or a tree up to 20 feet tall and is characterized by the thick bottle-shaped trunk which is almost branchless until the top. The branches are few and covered by slender thorns and the leaves are covered with short hairs on both surfaces. You can enjoy the blossoms in the springtime when the tree is leafless, clustered around the tips of the branches. And just like all good bottles in the desert, it's full of water to help the bottle tree survive the desert-like conditions that tend to prevail in deserts. It's also full of poison. Yeah, this is not something you want to use to fill up your water bottles but it does help the bottle tree actually maintain its hydration. The poison is so effective that hunters in the region used to smear the sap on their arrows just to add that extra sting. And yet, no one calls it a poison dart tree. Go figure. Before we move on, if you don't smash the like button, subscribe and click the notification bell today, it, the clown, will appear under your bed tonight. Number 14, the sandbox tree. The sandbox tree, also known as jabillo, is an evergreen tree native to tropical regions of North and South America, including the Amazon rainforest. It's also present in parts of Tanzania, where it's considered an invasive species. It can be recognized by its smooth brown bark covered in many dark pointed spines, which have led to its being nicknamed monkey no climb. The fruit of the sandbox tree is poisonous, causing vomiting, diarrhea, and cramps if ingested. The tree sap is said to cause an angry red rash and it can blind you if it gets in your eyes. Parts of the tree have been used for medicinal purposes. Oil extracted from the seeds acts as a purgative. The leaves are said to treat eczema. When properly prepared, extracts are said to treat rheumatism and intestinal worms. Good to know! The tree gets its name from little bowls made from the fruits that were once used to hold fine, dry sand. The sand was used for blotting ink before the time of blotting paper. Other names include monkey's dinner bell, monkey's pistol, and possum wood. But you should probably not plant a sandbox tree. It's too dangerous to have around people or animals, and when planted in isolated areas, it's likely to spread. Better safe than sorry. Number 13. Traveler's Tree of Madagascar The traveler's tree, also called traveler's palm, so named because the water accumulates in its leaf bases had been used in emergencies for thirsty travelers. The fan of leaves also tends to grow roughly on an east-west line, providing a crude compass for travelers. This, the only Ravenella species, is native in Madagascar and cultivated around the world. The trunk resembles that of a palm tree and attains a height of more than 26 feet. At the top of the tree, there are large banana-like leaves with long, pale leaf stalks that are arranged in a single plane to give a fan-like appearance. The leaves are 13 to 16 feet long, and each leaf base, shaped like a huge cup, can hold about a quart of rainwater. The large flower clusters contain unusual white blossoms, similar in appearance to the bird of paradise flower. Madagascar native lemurs seem to be the primary pollinators of this species of tree, though black lemurs White-fronted lemurs and greater dwarf lemurs have been recorded visiting these blooms. It appears that the black and white ruffled lemur manages a bulk of the pollination services. Thanks for the help, guys! Number 12. The Famous Angel Oak Tree 
Southern live oaks are native to the lowland country of the coastal Carolinas in the United States and home to the famous angel oak tree. Its branches reach in all directions, with some driving underground and then growing back above the surface. Its name comes from the Angel Estate, owned by couple Justice Angel and Martha Waite Angel. However, local legends say that the ghosts appear as angels around the tree. The tree is now property of the city of Charleston. Recently, a plan for apartment development near the Angel Oak has been scrutinized and fought against by the SC Coastal Conservation League. They argue that the development would alter the underwater flow of the tree and clear the nearby forests whose root systems are intimately related with the Angel Oak. The fairy tale esque tree is thought to be one of the oldest living oak trees east of the Mississippi River. Estimated to be around 400 to 500 years old, this southern live oak has survived a number of hurricanes floods, and earthquakes. It was damaged by Hurricane Hugo in 1989, but recovered and continues to grow. It's probably good luck. Wow. Number 11. Skeleton Deadfly Trees Located inside of the Namib Nakluft Park in Namibia in Deadfly, the name Deadfly is quite literally translated to mean Dead Marsh or Valley, as it's located in a valley between two high dune peaks. It's found to be situated between the tallest dunes in the world, some of which even top the Empire State Building itself and are measured to be around 1,312 feet. While Deadfly is now a dry desert land, it once contained a flowing river and housed many trees and plant life in the middle of the desert. Once the desert ran dry around 900 years ago, the climate dried up. It said that it once was brimming with life and now only hosts the skeletons of the trees, which once reigned in the valley. Now the temperature is so dry that the trees left over cannot properly decompose and the desert sun cooked them into blackened bones, never to vanish from the earth. Now all that remains are 900-year-old tree skeletons shaped in a white clay marsh set against red rusted dunes in a brilliant blue sky. A forest frozen in time. And yeah, it's kinda creepy. Number 10. Avenue of the Baobabs This famous dirt road on the west coast of Madagascar is framed by dozens of rare and ancient baobab trees so beautiful and unique that it became the country's first official natural monument, and rightfully so. These giant, dry-season, deciduous trees, many of which are more than 800 years old with trunks that are over 150 feet around, and at one time were part of a rich forest of the trees and other plants, but the encroachment of modern civilization and increasing populations in the area led to massive deforestation, leaving the remaining baobabs to stand in relative isolation. Still, baobabs are incredibly useful plants. Their trunks are tapped for water during the dry season. The young leaves are eaten as a salad vegetable and the nutritious sour brown pulp, tasting somewhat like tamarind, of the hard-shelled fruits is made into a pleasant summertime beverage all over Africa. So cheers, baobab trees! Thankfully, private organizations are now promoting efforts to have the avenue protected so that the trees might survive for another 800 years to come. And I'm glad to hear it. One of the coolest things I've ever seen. The coolest trees I've ever seen, at least. Number 9. The Wawona Tree Nothing like an honest day of hard work, right? Well, in 1881, two men, the Scribner brothers, were paid $75, equal to $1,750 in 2020, for the job of cutting a tunnel through the Wawona Tree in Yosemite National Park in California. The tree had a slight lean to it, which increased when the tunnel was finished. It became a hugely popular tourist attraction, and many tourists and families were photographed going through it or standing in it. Smile for the camera! Construction of the tunnel through the Wawona tree was part of an effort by the Park Service to help increase tourism in the age of the automobile. Nothing like quality time with your family in the car. Around this same time frame, the phrase scenic drive was introduced into the national vocabulary and a part of many familiar regular routines. But under a heavy load of snow on its crown, the Wawona tree collapsed in 1969. The giant sequoia was estimated to have been 2,300 years old. When the giant tree fell, there was major debate about what to do with it. They ended up leaving it where it went down merely for ecological reasons, but it still serves as a popular tourist attraction and it's now known as the Fallen Tree Tunnel. Number 8. Dragon's Blood Tree A tree that bleeds? 
Yeah, we got you. In Arabic, it's known as the blood of the two brothers. The dragon's blood tree, with its crimson resin and dense crown of prehistoric leaves, is a beloved symbol of the Arabian sea island of Socotra and its parent country of Yemen. Of the 825 plant species found on Socotra today, 37% are endemic, meaning they live nowhere else. The islands play host to as many as 11 unique bird species and over 90% of reptiles and mollusks are endemic too. So the dragon's blood tree only adds to the island's unique qualities. Offshore, multiple biogeographical areas converge around Socotra, creating an equally fertile marine environment. No wonder that in eras gone by Greek and Arab sailors connected this peculiar and plentiful land with paradise. Some even regarded the land as part of the lost mythical continent of Atlantis. The dragon's blood tree looks right at home here. Once at the heart of ancient silk and spice trading routes between the Arab world, Africa and Asia, the island lies in the middle of one of the world's most important oil trading channels. Number 7. Pando, the Trembling Giant if you've ever walked through an aspen grove and seen hundreds of thousands of white trunks propping up a sky of silvery green leaves trembling in the wind, you may have walked right through Pando. The largest aspen grove in the world in Utah is named Pando, Latin for I spread out. In total, the grove of aspens covers 106 acres. It sprouted 80,000 years ago from a seed the size of a pepper grain and now supports almost 50,000 trunks, making it the heaviest living thing in the world and one of the oldest. Aspens have the unique ability to produce genetically identical offspring through offshoots from their root system. In the fall, all the leaves in one grove will go from green to gold at the same time. This is because the entire grove is really just one massive root system from which many trunks have sprouted out, grown, died, and then are replaced by new trunks. The grove of 47,000 trees has remained for thousands of years, partially because the single organism has been able to supply trees at every stage of Aspen's life, helping it to be resistant to external threats. Cause that's how Pondo rose, and I respect it. Number 6. Rainbow Eucalyptus Everyone loves a rainbow, so can you imagine we'd all love a rainbow tree and people fall in love with rainbow eucalyptus at the first time that they see it. It's gorgeous. Intense color and fragrance make the tree unforgettable, but it's not for everyone. Although we can't really imagine why, here are a few things you should know about these outstanding beauties. Rainbow eucalyptus is the only eucalyptus tree indigenous to the northern hemisphere, so it's super rare. It grows in the Philippines, New Guinea, and Indonesia, where it thrives in tropical forests that get a lot of rain. The train grows up to 200 feet tall in its native environment. In the United States, rainbow eucalyptus grows in the frost-free climates found in Hawaii and the southern portions of California, Texas, and Florida. In the continental USA, the tree only grows to heights of 100 to 125 feet, but that's still a pretty big rainbow eucalyptus. Although this is only about half the height it can reach in its native range, there's nothing to be ashamed of. We just love the rainbow eucalyptus. Number 5. The Banyan Tree A banyan tree is a fig tree that begins its life as an epiphyte, a plant that grows on another plant when its seed germinates in a crack or crevice of a host tree. Cool trick, right? The banyan is one of more than 750 species of fig trees, each of which is also pollinated by its own species of tiny wasps that breed only inside the figs of their partner trees. Also very cool. Banyans are the world's biggest trees in terms of the area they cover. The biggest one alive today is in the Indian state of Andhra Pradesh. It covers 4.7 acres and can shelter 20,000 people. That's insane. Banyans are ecological linchpins. They produce vast crops of figs that sustain many species of birds, fruit bats, primates, and other creatures, which in turn disperse the seeds of hundreds of other plant species. The first Europeans to encounter banyan trees were Alexander the Great and his army, who reached India in 326 BCE. The notes that they took back to Greece informed Theoprastus, the founder of modern botany, and ultimately led 17th century English poet John Milton to write in Paradise Lost that Adam and Eve made the first clothes from banyan leaves. So I guess the only question is, does this banyan leaf make my butt look big? Number 4. Wallamai Pine Tree Once you accept that a common, genetically identical stock can define a tree, then the absolute winner for oldest tree, 
or the oldest clonal material belonging to a tree must go to the Wolome pine. It may be more than 60 million years old. Here's where it will blow your mind. The Wolome pine clones itself, forming exact genetic copies. It was thought to be extinct until a tiny remnant population was discovered in Australia's Wolomai National Park in 1994. The trunk of the oldest above ground component, known as the bill tree, is about 400 to 450 years old. But the pine sprouts multiple trunks, so the bill tree's roots may be more than 1,000 years old. The Wolomai pine is classified as critically endangered and is legally protected in Australia. A recovery plan has been drawn up outlining strategies for the management of this fragile population. The overall objective is to ensure that this species remains viable in the long term. Wolomai pines have also been presented by Australian prime ministers and foreign affairs ministers to various dignitaries around the world. It's a nice gift. So this is like one of my favorite trees. Number 3. Vines of Wisteria Remember Wisteria Lane, the scandalous suburban setting in the Desperate Housewives TV hit? The plant can be dangerous, like the women in that series. Wisteria is a long-lived vining plant with cascades of blue to purple flowers that look spectacular hanging from a pergola or archway in spring and early summer. However, this vine is a fast and aggressive grower, often reaching 30 plus feet and is known to grow quite heavy. Wisteria vines will work their way into any crook or cranny they can reach, so it's advised not to plant them too near to your home. Wisteria flowers are also beautifully fragrant, providing a feast for the senses. After flowering, a brown bean-like pod stays on the plant until winter. Blooms only appear on new growth. But remember, plant wisteria with caution. All parts of the wisteria plant contain substances called lectin and wisterin, which are toxic to pets, livestock, and humans. These toxins can cause anything from nausea and diarrhea to death if consumed in large amounts. Wisteria is native to China, Korea, Japan, and the eastern United States, and in Hollywood. Number 2. Sunland Baobab Tree if you're a super tree hugger, the Sunland Baobab in Limpopo, South Africa, is a one-stop shop for finishing off your tree hugging bucket list. It's one of the largest baobabs in South Africa, and at a whopping 72 feet high and 155 feet around, the widest on the entire continent. Besides its remarkable dimensions, the baobab is also one of the oldest trees on Earth. According to some estimates, Sunland Baobab is 6,000 years old. While there is some controversy regarding the age, carbon dating has placed the tree easily past the millennium mark, putting Sunland Baobab among the ranks of California's legendary sequoias. To add to the wonder of the species, baobabs naturally hollow out after 1,000 years. Strange, huh? The Sunland Baobab was hollow to such a point that the owners of the land, the Van Heerden family, created a small pub inside the space with 13-foot-high ceilings and can comfortably fit 15 people. So belly up the bar, enjoy a pint. Unfortunately, the giant tree trunk split and a third of it collapsed in April of 2016, likely due to its age. The bar is still open though, though it is run down and in a bit of a rough shape. Number one, the tree of life. One tree in Bahrain has found a way to thrive in the desert. The Sarajat Al Hayat, or Tree of Life, has stood alone in an extra harsh climate for over 400 years in a remote desert location. Lacking any visible source of water, the 32-foot mesquite tree has baffled visitors and scientists alike for its entire life as it's continued to grow. Maybe it's some sort of miracle. Although the mesquite tree is known for holding a great deal of water in its massive root system, there is still no source of water in sight. Even arid vegetation needs water to survive, which makes Bahrain's tree of life even more mysterious. Without a rational explanation for the tree's biological success, many have turned to mythology and religion for answers. Some assert that Enki, an ancient god of water in Babylonian and Sumerian mythology, protects the tree. Others still believe the site is the historical location of the Garden of Eden. Whatever the answer, the tree has shown no sign of dying and continues to inspire as it stands proudly in the tiny desert nation. In 2010, archaeologists unearthed 500-year-old pottery and other artifacts in the vicinity of the tree. See? It is a miracle. Those were the 15 most unusual trees in the world. Thanks for watching.